Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is your 30 Second Marketer Tip of the Day. This is the second installment in a series of five where we're talking about mistakes people make in copy that could kill their sales. Today we're gonna to talk about using acronyms and jargon. Look, in whatever business you're in, there is a vernacular, there's a jargon, there are acronyms that are used that you know that perhaps your colleagues know, but maybe your audience isn't all that familiar with. If you're a jeweler, you might use the term GIA, but do your customers know that? Do they know what that means? What about IJO or RJO or any of the other acronyms that talk about the associations you might have or the qualifications uh, that you might be able to uh, spout? Not that there's anything wrong with letting people know that you have some qualifications, that lends credibility, but they need to understand what they know. In the speaking business, there's something called CSP. It stands for Certified Speaking Professional. Problem is, most people, including most meeting planners, don't know what it means or what it takes to get it. So what good is using it if it is not explained? I'm not saying you shouldn't use it, but you must explain the term. Uh, I've got a client who's uh, selling high-tech um, electronic equipment to the government for use in airplanes and fighter jets and those kinds of things. He has an acronym that's RM, RHM, stands for Remote Health Monitoring. Do you know what that means? Sounds like something they stick on astronauts to make sure their health is okay. Not at all. It has to do with the monitoring of the condition of the power supply or the electronic components that he sells. And it's a unique point for him. But his customers, do they understand it? Do the buyers understand it? And is he absolutely sure that they do? Because if you're at the least bit uncertain, you must explain your terms. Don't get caught in the syndrome of using jargon and acronyms that your prospects may not understand. That's your tip of the day. So, subscribe to your channel and tell your friends about it. Check out back episodes of Tips of the Day, and I'll see you next time on your 30 Second Marketer Tip of the Day.